What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, you know what we're going to be filming, a Lotus Carlton. Can't believe I'm actually going to get behind the wheel of one of these. We've got Paul, the owner. How you doing, mate? Nice to meet you, Ricky. Yeah, so you come down in your Lotus Carlton. Mate, I've got to say, I really appreciate you coming down. No worries. Let's go with the story, man, because there's a lot of stories with this car, right? Yes. The most, the most famous one out there is about 40 RA. Right. Uh, the car was stolen up in the north, northwest uh, or North Midlands. Um, it was taken by a gang of thieves um, by a bloke called Ricardo and That's used me. for a string of uh, ram raids around right. the area. Um, it basically got massive attention because absolutely, it, yeah, because yeah, uh, they, they even pulled it out outside a, a police station, done a round raid outside a police station, yes, and yes. the police just could not catch it. Um, <laughs> so they were so driving metros at the they time. They were driving right? metros at the time, yeah. clocked at 90 miles an hour, <laughs> uh, and this car was hitting 175 plus. <laughs> so crazy. Um, they even set out the uh, West Midlands helicopter to try yeah. and catch it down the M6, and it still outrun the helicopter. Wow. So and the guys never got caught to this day. They never right? got caught to this day. Um, the car was dumped in a canal oh it was yes. officially yeah, yeah officially okay. dumped in the canal right. and that was found about three four years ago with all the cave, the roof caved wow. in and everything else wow. um but the guy ricardo uh, ostini he's uh, one of our facebook members so is that the guy who owned the, owned the 40r oh, wow. yeah okay. yeah and he's bought another lotus colton and put the 40 RA ridge back on no it. way so there's another one back <laughs> out there no way <laughs> as he's saying this car did 177 miles per hour in 1990 between 1990 and 92 this car was produced mm. 177 so at the time it was equivalent of the fastest supercar at the time which was quicker than the Porsche turbos but yeah. up there on par with the Tesla yeah. 3.6 litre engine twin turbo that's it yeah Garrett turbos T25 Garrett's yeah, yeah two of those pointing pushing uh, 0.7 bar of pressure yes uh, or boost um, the engine just straight six it's a flat nine in six and um, it's been stroked it hasn't been bored out it, it was a stroked engine to make it 3.6 right. from a three litre so this was like a collab with Vauxhall and Lotus yeah. under General Motors, right? That's the one, yeah. 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 So they did a collab to bring their equivalent of a That's high it. performance Vauxhall. Yeah, yeah. Forged engine, it's like forged pistons, It is isn't forged, it? it's got forged pistons, um, it's got mull pistons, slipper pistons, uh, forged crank, uh, forged rods. Um, the head is the same and mm -hmm. the block's been reinforced as well. Right. So the block was recast and reinforced with more webbing to stop it from splitting. Zero yeah. to 60, what was it, 5.2 seconds? It's standard is 5.2 um, on the books, but yeah. they do do it at 4.8. Rear wheel drive, LSD. LSD, limited, yeah. limited slip diff, um, no traction control. No traction. Just your right foot. <laughs> and uh, I think it was a uh, weight was 16.55 kilos. That's it. Yeah. So, I mean, t compared to today's standard car, it's pretty light. Yeah. I mean, back yeah. then that must have been pretty heavy. Yeah. Um, and only finished in one colour, right? That's right, Imperial Green. Imperial yep, Green. The car, the yeah, colour you see now. Black, doesn't it actually, Joe? Cameraman was in any normal light, it was black. black. But this one has actually had a bit of work. So, you, uh, I mean, do you want it to mention has. Uh, We've rebuilt the engine, um, so we've still got slipper pistons in it, um, different pistons, yeah. um, but they are still 3.6. Mm -hmm. um, the turbo's been wound up to one and a half bar. Right. Um, it's got a multi lad steel head gasket on it, and it's running a uh, thousand cc Bosch injectors with a Haltec 2500 Elite ECU. So you're saying it's still stock power right now? Or? It's still stock power at the moment at 400. So you're running more boost, so how yep. does that work then? Like, is it, is it, is it, is it, does it feel different? To it does feel a lot different. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a lot different. It's a lot more pull, a lot more punch. Um, a lot juicier as well. A lot bit. juicier as well, yeah. If you put yeah. your foot down, it does drink. But the power's been been sort of like limited by the ECU, yeah. just why it's being run in and broken in. And what do you do about fuel? Is it only 99 run or does it matter? It is 99 run. 99 if you run, put yeah. the new stuff in it, you don't like it. Is this how it no, came? No, no, we, we changed the colour, that's a gold. Yeah. Um, purely the reason was my me, me brother in law's got a Lotus Amiga, mm -hmm. um, and these is all chrome and polished up, mm -hmm. uh, and they go to shows together. So while well, we've got the engine out, we thought we'd do it gold. So you've got a silver and gold engine that's together. awesome, man, honestly. It's got the arches, you know, like the E30s, that like old school era man this is when cars were awesome mm. obviously it's based on a, on a voxel cult uh voxel carton right that's right the um, GSI, redesigned yeah. body kit you know you've got the fenders you've got the rear spoiler as well man uh, what is it ap racing brakes yep four pot ap racers at the front and uh two pots at the back honestly it's like i'm starstruck right now <laughs> having this at the unit i'm not even joking so have a look at the interior so it's still got the self-leveling suspension yes off yep the... everything's all stand on leveling on the yeah. self on the on the um suspension yeah yeah Look at this man, Lotus. What would have been its rivals, like the M5s of its time? The or? M5 of its time, yeah, yeah, was the rival. And the the Mercedes, the C500s? Yes, that's right, yeah. Corvette ZR1 gearbox? ZR1 Corvette. Long gears. That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bulletproof, uh, any issues? Or? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I've had no problems with it at all. Yeah. Um, Apparently 55 miles per hour first gear yes. I was reading. Yeah. So guys, you, I've been doing my research. So. You'll, you'll, you'll break all the speed limits in second gear. Got a Clifford here as well. Man, it's in clean condition as well. So, Paul, what, what are we, we looking at then? Because this was 48 grand new. Yep. I suspect it's still similar money or maybe more? No, this is valued through the insurance at 65. Okay. 
So it's worth a bit more, yeah? yeah? It's worth a little bit more. 48 grand back there was like double, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And how has ownership been? Is it, you know, honestly, has it been? It's been, been a nightmare, or? to be honest with you. Yeah, it's been a nightmare, yeah? <laughs> yeah, bought the car, like I said, seven years ago. Uh -huh. um, within 20 minutes of driving down the road, the blue dead gasket. Oh my God. Um, not purely for the thought of the car, but purely where the person had it, didn't understand the car. Right. Um, they put ARP studs in the, in the head instead of the um, standard stretch bolts. Right. Um, and what they didn't know is you have to you have to cut them down to a certain length. Okay. Um, and he didn't do that, and the head was sitting off the block. Um, okay. So we booted it and gave it some power. It just blew the head gasket. Right. But that's all been done there and rectified. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, she's running an MLS steel head gasket with the RP studs. Uh, and yeah, touch wood, she has been bulletproof up to now. So right. uh, yeah, hopefully she keeps going that way. Dream car? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ever since it come out. Mm. Yeah. Owned anything else far? Uh, I need a 24 valve GSI. Okay. I had them all my life, and that's why it went on to the Lotus. So you boxed all the way, yeah? Boxed all the way. Shit. Missus has got the Monaro HSV. Oh, I swear yeah, to God. Yeah, they're the oh. BXR, so nice. she's, yeah, we boxed all the way. Paul, do you want to get a rev? Pretty quiet. Hear that straight six, though, can't you? Seven years I've owned them now, yeah. so. Any other sort of common faults with these cars? They've got a uh, weak uh, bell housing, okay. um, which the pin used to snap um, and throw the, the arm about inside the gearbox, and that used to crack the bell housing. Um, right. But then, being in the club, the modified part is uh, is made by the club. Is it a permanent fix? And that's a permanent fixture. It does move, doesn't it? <laughs> it's quiet, isn't it? Yeah, very quiet. You know, quiet. from the exhaust revs, you can hear that it's an inline six, right? Not V6. Yeah, it's inline yeah. six. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's a deceiving power, isn't it? Yeah. And what I noticed is with uh, quiet cars with no exhaust tone, the, the, the boost creeps up on you more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> I mean, that's going to just relentlessly pull like that each gear, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pulling each gear. There's no lit on it. It's fast, definitely. Deceiving power is what I call it. Jeez, that comes on, doesn't it? <laughs> Bloody hell, it is quick, isn't it? So what would you say about handling? You say there's a little bit of body roll? There is a little bit of body roll. It is a 90s car at the end of the day. The torque and the, the power delivery is just insane. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, it comes on strong, isn't it? It yes. comes on very strong. What's it revving out to? Uh, just over six and a half. Man, yeah, that. Jesus. I mean, imagine that rev to seven and a half, for example. Cool. Could you imagine? Yeah. If that just kept going. <laughs> 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 <Wow. laughs> <But>, yeah. <laughs> comes on pretty viciously doesn't it yeah that that is the good thing about this turbo is that the, the, the power delivery from the turbos is, is a hit it's a constant yeah. hit satisfying man. satisfying yeah. yeah whereas the turbos of the day are very gradual they, yes. they ease That's you into right. that power and, uh, how much you drive the car is it like just odd weekends no 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 any dry day she's out if i come home from work and it's a dry day she comes out Sick. so yeah she's not a trader queen she's not a garage queen she is she gets driven. she's driven man really does pull, doesn't it? Mm. So police, they're out in their metros. Yeah, they didn't stand a chance. What a chance, yeah. You know, gears are nice and long, isn't they? From 50 to 70 in third gear. Yeah. It hits, it's just over two seconds. It's my turn, people. Lot was Colton, you know. Made that a sick pull. <laughs> 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 this is sick. So you say it's basically got a, a, a base map back to stock, yeah? yeah? So it's ready for more power? It's ready for more power, but we can't do that until we've got it on the rolling road to extract that power. And what's that going to be this week? You getting it back on uh, the road? Hopefully or? next week yeah. uh, we'll get it on the rolling road, or if not the week after. We've yeah. got a little niggly issue we've got to sort out first, so she is good to go to get extra, extract that more power. Twin turbos, man. Garrett T25s. We've got a nice amount of weight in this wheel, man. It is, it is power steering, it's isn't it? It's power assisted. Yeah, it's power assisted. So I think it's uh, what I what I watched yesterday is the slower you go, it actually gets lighter, and that's the faster you go, yeah, it gets that's a it. bit tighter, a bit more weighty. That's it. I mean, there's nothing giving the game away right now. It's driving like a normal car, which is the idea, right? Okay. 
what was that? A, was that into fifth that's, I went? That's yeah. into fifth you went, yeah. like me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, gradually build it. Wow, bloody hell, it moves, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's fifth, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but you can feel that gearbox was bulletproof, right? Yeah. Solid, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we've had any problems with gearboxes at all. Wow, yeah, yeah. This with some more power. I mean, not that it needs it, but my God, could you imagine? I'm just, I just can't help but I think 1990 people are running this kind of power. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Absolutely what mad. Fuck? I suppose that's why the government wanted to try and ban it. First. How can a family saloon car have that sort of power? I know we said it in the intro, but for anyone that may have missed it, this was as quick as like the fastest supercar of its time. Quicker than a Porsche Turbo, it was quicker than a, what was the other car? Uh, it was Ferrari Testarossa, that was on par with. So that did 193 or something, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, something like that. I mean, there is a talk out there that if you uh, go into sixth gear and then you drop it down the fifth and red line it, it will yeah. go, it gets <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I see that, <laughs> Someone says you hit the rev limit in fifth gear, it will let you bypass the 177. Yeah, of course, yeah. Let's go first gear. Yep. <laughs> yeah, look, we're in third gear, low RPM, but look, building boost. You know what? It's all about a car without a loud exhaust, man. Like, a lot of like uh, the generation now, like, even myself, it's like, I do it for content reasons. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, a car feels way quicker without no crazy exhaust, man. Guys, like, this is a car you gotta be fully respectful for. There's no carving into corners. It's not my, uh, you're saying it's insured for 65 grand? Yeah. <laughs> and what do you reckon he's gonna go up to, Paul? Like, do you reckon they're gonna? I reckon they're gonna go to about 85, 90, and then they're gonna just hover and stop. Is there any of these even up for sale right now? Or? Yeah, yeah, there's, there a, are, there's, yeah? A, there's a few. Yeah, 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 we know quite a few that are up for sale. We know of a good one of our, of our club members who passed away, and that's okay. up for sale for 65,000, so that's a clean example. Yeah, okay, Paul. I think I will end the video there, man. And uh, sorry, uh, family? Yeah, that's my son, Leo. Yeah, and uh, you got a car as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, so what, did you want to just mention what it is? Well, I've got a uh, GSI 24 valve. So it's the car that this used to be before it got converted by Lotus. Okay. So it didn't have any of the body panels on it or anything like that. It's, uh, it's all been converted, so it's got like, this big stuff all over it. So it's like, uh, like this, basically? It looks exactly like this. Yeah, awesome. And you're single turbo, don't yeah, you say? Single turbo, yeah. Yeah, so we've definitely got to get that on uh, at some point. Well, uh, anyone you want to shout out? Anywhere people can find you online? Or Yeah, we've got a, a Facebook page called uh, Lotus Colton Enthusiasts. Right. So if they want to come on there, there's loads of pages and that, and uh, loads of different cars, obviously Lotus Coltons. Cool. Well, uh, I'll leave all your links in the description. As always, guys, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Slow me down like speed hump. No. Keep up no. when I speed up. No. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke yeah. when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. See a girl, she's in my car. Mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel, that's five stars. Yeah. Make the rules yeah. disappear.